Hello, everyone. Doomspire Defense in Roblox is a standout among tower defense games, featuring an impressive roster of towers that allow players to build formidable defenses. To succeed in this game, knowing which towers are the best is crucial. Each tower offers unique abilities and strategic advantages, making some significantly more effective than others. Understanding the tier list of these towers can greatly enhance your gameplay, helping you choose the most powerful and efficient towers to protect your base. In Doomspire Defense, top-tier towers like the Laser Cannon and Flame Turret are essential for creating an impenetrable defense. The Laser Cannon boasts exceptional range and damage, capable of taking down waves of enemies before they get too close. Meanwhile, the Flame Turret excels in dealing continuous area damage, making it perfect for crowd control. Mid-tier towers such as the Archer Tower and Cannon Tower also play vital roles, offering balanced attack power and versatility. By strategically placing these towers and understanding their strengths, players can optimize their defenses and achieve victory in Doomspire Defense. I'm quickly moving on to the video, and I'm ranking towers in Doomspire Defense. Before we start, if you enjoy these types of tier list videos, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Enjoy watching. A very small portion of the audience is subscribed to the channel. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like these types of videos. Thanks. The towers in this tier are in order from top left to bottom right. Slingshotter, Battler, Paintballer, and Baller. In Doomspire Defense, the towers ranked in the D tier are the weakest options available, offering minimal utility and effectiveness. These towers should be avoided whenever possible, as they do not contribute significantly to your defense strategy. Only consider using them if you have no other options available, as they are unlikely to provide the support needed to fend off enemies effectively. Choosing better ranked towers will vastly improve your chances of success in the game. In Doomspire Defense, the Slingshotter ranks in the D tier due to its extremely cheap cost and limited effectiveness. This basic range tower is useful primarily against weak enemies during the initial waves, providing a modest defense when resources are tight. However, its low damage output and range mean it quickly becomes obsolete. Players are advised to replace the Slingshotter with more powerful options, such as the Arsenal, as soon as they have the funds to do so, ensuring stronger and more efficient protection in the later stages of the game. In Doomspire Defense, the Battler is unfortunately classified as a D-tier tower. As an extremely cheap starter option, it offers very low damage output and almost negligible range. While it might find some limited utility on easy difficulty levels, its effectiveness drops sharply on higher difficulties, rendering it practically useless in more challenging scenarios. Despite its affordability, players are often better off investing in more capable towers to secure their defenses. Paintballer in Doomspire Defense has seen a significant drop in effectiveness, now sitting at the D tier. This might come as a surprise to seasoned players who remember its former prowess. Despite being a starter unit known for its powerful attacks, the latest update has drastically reduced its range. As a result, the Paintballer has become highly situational, primarily valuable only when facing cloaked enemies. Its diminished versatility makes it a less favorable choice in most scenarios, relegating it to the lower tiers of tower options. Baller stands out as a remarkable crowd control unit, adept at managing swarms of enemies. This unit launches a ball that skillfully bounces between multiple foes, targeting weakened adversaries to maximize its impact. Upon upgrading, the baller gains the ability to stun enemies significantly enhancing its crowd control capabilities and making it an essential asset in any defensive strategy. Its strategic prioritization and stunning upgrade make it a versatile and powerful addition to your tower arsenal. The towers in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Wizard, Bomber, Trowler, Cake Battler, and Freezer. C-tier towers in Doomspire Defense might seem like a good choice initially, they're likely not worth your in-game cash in the long run. These basic towers can help you get started, but you'll almost certainly want to replace them with more powerful options as you progress to maintain a competitive edge in your lineup. 
Wizard and Doomspire Defense is a formidable tower, capable of unleashing powerful fire attacks that pierce through enemies and inflict a burning effect, making him highly effective for crowd control. His ability to manage large groups of enemies is invaluable in challenging waves. However, his full upgrade is somewhat expensive, which is a consideration when planning your strategy and resource allocation. Despite this, his unique skills make him a crucial asset in any player's arsenal. Balmer is a C-tier starter unit in Doomspire Defense, known for its ability to handle groups of enemies with its explosive attacks. While its overall damage output is modest, the Balmer proves to be quite useful during the initial waves. As it progresses through upgrades, its effectiveness increases significantly, making it a surprisingly valuable asset in the later stages of the game. Trowler stands out as a unique support tower dedicated to constructing walls that obstruct enemy progress. Positioned strategically, Trowlers place barriers along the paths, effectively hindering large groups of foes. Despite its affordability and utility in managing crowds, the Trowler's slow speed is a significant limitation, making it most effective when deployed near the end of paths to maximize its defensive capabilities. Cake Battler Tower occupies a peculiar spot in the tier list, often found in the C tier. Despite initial impressions, it brings utility through its unique ability to slow down enemies, although this feature isn't currently accessible. The tower's potential is overshadowed by more versatile options available to players, making its strategic use less prevalent compared to other towers, boasting a broader range of abilities and effects in the game. Freezer Tower occupies a niche role among its peers, distinguishes itself by its ability to slow down and even stun enemies with its upgrades. However, its effectiveness in dealing damage is notably lacking, making it a situational choice on the battlefield. Players often opt to prioritize towers that offer higher DPS damage per second to swiftly eliminate threats rather than relying solely on slowing effects. This strategic consideration underscores the Freezer's unique utility within the game where balancing defensive capabilities with offensive power is crucial for success. The towers in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Arsenal, Swordmaster, Six Shooter, and Panada. B-tier towers strike a balance between affordability and situational effectiveness. While they offer decent value for their cost, they often pale in comparison to higher tier towers due to their relative weakness. These towers serve as reliable additions to your lineup, filling strategic gaps rather than standing out as powerhouse units. They are dependable choices that contribute to your defensive strategy without necessarily being the mainstay heavy hitters. Players can leverage B-tier towers effectively by understanding their situational strengths and integrating them strategically within their overall tower roster for optimal gameplay and Doomspire defense. Arsenal stands out as a formidable tower unit, earning its place in the B-tier rankings. Renowned for its exceptional ported tower DPS capabilities, Arsenal combines solid damage output with impressive range, making it a cost-effective choice for players. Strategically placing Arsenal near Boombox and Rockstar Towers maximizes its effectiveness, leveraging its strengths in both offense and range to bolster defensive strategies. This synergy not only enhances Arsenal's impact, but also contributes significantly to fortification efforts against enemy assaults in the game. Swordmaster holds a solid position in the B tier of towers. As a straightforward starter unit, its affordability and high damage output contribute significantly to its effectiveness on the battlefield. However, its limited range prevents it from excelling in versatility or specialized roles within the game. Despite these limitations, its cost-effective nature makes it a viable choice for early game strategies where immediate firepower is crucial, albeit without any unique attributes that set it apart from more advanced towers in later stages of the game. Six Shooter Tower occupies a distinctive position in the arsenal of defensive structures. Positioned in the B tier, it excels as a formidable ranged DPS unit specializing in decimating solitary foes with its exceptional single-target damage output. However, its effectiveness wanes when confronted with swarms of enemies due to inherent targeting complexities. 
players must strategically deploy the six-shooter to maximize its potential against high-priority targets while considering its limitations in managing groups, making it a critical yet nuanced choice in tower placement. Panada Tower finds itself in the B tier due to its mixed performance. While capable of summoning entities that inflict substantial AoE damage, its effectiveness hinges on constant player interaction, requiring manual clicks to unleash its summons. Moreover, the tower is rendered ineffective against foes equipped with summon immunity, severely limiting its utility across various game configurations. As a result, while the Panada can shine in specific scenarios, its situational nature and demanding gameplay mechanics often make it a challenging recommendation for general use. The towers in this tier are in order from top left to bottom right. Rocketeer, Heavy Gunner, Spawn, Cloner, General and Pianist. A-tier towers stand out as formidable choices, offering a blend of power and strategic utility that makes them indispensable on the battlefield. While slightly pricier, their effectiveness justifies the cost, as these towers can reliably anchor your defenses alongside S-tier counterparts. What sets them apart is their exceptional unit capabilities without the extravagant features found in S-tier towers, ensuring they remain consistently strong assets throughout the game. Whether bolstering your front lines or securing critical choke points, A-tier towers in Doomspire defense prove themselves as essential tools for any savvy commander aiming for victory. In Doomspire defense, the A-tier Rocketeer tower stands out as a formidable asset in your arsenal. Much like its predecessor, the Bomber, this tower excels in handling clusters of enemies with its powerful explosive projectiles. Offering enhanced damage and extended range compared to the Bomber, the Rocketeer proves to be a more costly yet highly effective choice for strategic defense. Whether you're aiming to thwart incoming hordes or target specific threats from afar, deploying the Rocketeer ensures that your defenses remain robust and capable against all odds. Heavy Gunner stands out as a formidable ranged DPS tower, capable of unleashing torrents of bullets to decimate waves of enemies. Its effectiveness, however, is tempered by a slow initial build-up phase and the necessity for periodic reloads after sustained firing, which can diminish its continuous combat output. Moreover, its high cost makes it a strategic investment, often requiring the support of a Mr. Tix tower to facilitate placement and upgrades, highlighting its specialized role in bolstering defenses against incoming threats. Spawn Tower stands out as a formidable asset on the battlefield. Positioned strategically along enemy paths, it continuously summons units that bolster your defenses and overwhelm adversaries. While its ability to spawn extra allies proves invaluable in repelling waves of attackers, its high upgrade costs demand careful resource management. This tower not only enhances your defensive capabilities significantly, but also underscores the importance of tactical placement and economic efficiency in achieving victory against increasingly formidable foes. Cloner Tower stands out as an intermediate unit that offers substantial value for its cost and accessibility. This tower specializes in generating clones capable of swarming adversaries, thereby exerting significant pressure on opponents across various game scenarios. Its effectiveness is particularly enhanced when synergized with Rockstar and Boombox units, forming formidable combinations that bolster defensive and offensive strategies alike. The cloner's versatility and affordability make it a pivotal choice for players aiming to maintain control and strategic flexibility in their tower lineup. General Tower stands out as a uniquely formidable option. Boasting unparalleled damage per second compared to its counterparts, the General becomes exceptionally potent when complemented by boomboxes and rock stars. Despite its formidable power, acquiring and upgrading the General proves to be a costly endeavor, making it a strategic but expensive investment on the battlefield. Players must carefully weigh the benefits of its superior offensive capabilities against the significant resource expenditure required to deploy and enhance this tower effectively. Pianist Tower is a unique addition that blends offense with defense. When summoned, this tower not only unleashes decent damage on nearby foes, but also boasts the tactical advantage of blocking enemy movements with its imposing presence. The highlight of its abilities lies in its dramatic entrance. 
The piano descends with a thunderous impact, capable of knocking out large groups of adversaries in one fell swoop. This dual-purpose functionality makes the Pianist Tower a formidable choice for players aiming to control the battlefield while dealing significant damage to advancing enemies. The towers in this tier are in order from top left to bottom right. Hyperlaser, Mr. Tix, Pizza Place, Moderator, Machinery, Boombox, Survivalist, and Rockstar. S-tier towers reign supreme as the pinnacle of strategic choices. These towers are the crown jewels of your arsenal, boasting exceptional capabilities that make them stand out from the rest. When scouring the unit shop, these towers are the ones you eagerly seek to bolster your defenses, ensuring they secure a coveted place on your bottom bar. Whether it's their unrivaled power, unique abilities, or unparalleled synergy with other units, S-tier towers are undeniably the cornerstone of any successful defense strategy in the game. Hyperlaser Tower reigns supreme in the S-tier category. Renowned for its unparalleled ability to decimate even the toughest foes, its exceptionally high damage output makes short work of tanky adversaries. However, its effectiveness comes at a cost, both in terms of its substantial price tag and its notably slow rate of fire. To maximize its potential, strategic players often complement the Hyperlaser with a boombox tower creating a formidable synergy that ensures no enemy remains standing unchallenged. Mr. Tick stands as an invaluable asset among the towers, residing prominently in the S-tier category. Known for his unparalleled ability to generate substantial amounts of cash, Mr. Tix becomes the cornerstone for overcoming financial hurdles in the game. With his steady income generation, players can strategically invest in and upgrade other towers, thereby fortifying their defenses and increasing their chances of survival against waves of enemies. Mr. Tix not only enhances the gameplay experience by easing resource constraints, but also serves as a pivotal component in achieving victory in the relentless tower defense battles of Doomspire Defense. Pizza Place Tower stands out as a formidable asset on the battlefield. This summon-type tower not only unleashes lasting summons armed with ranged attacks, dealing significant damage to enemies, but it also uniquely generates income for players. However, its effectiveness is hampered by a major drawback, a lengthy cooldown period that can stretch up to a minute between spawns. This limitation challenges players to strategically time and position their summon deployments to maximize its potential impact during crucial moments of the game. Moderator Tower reigns supreme in the S-tier category. Known for its unparalleled crowd control, enemies struck by the moderator are temporarily stunned, rendering them unable to move. This strategic advantage not only disrupts enemy advances, but also synergizes effectively with other towers like the boombox, which can potentially lock down foes indefinitely when combined with its accelerating abilities. For players seeking to halt enemy progress and secure victories, incorporating the moderator into their tower defenses proves to be a formidable choice in the relentless battles of Doomspire defense. Machinery Tower reigns supreme as an S-tier choice among defenders. Combining devastating DPS with summon sentries, it strikes a formidable balance. Each attack from the Machinery Tower packs a tremendous punch, capable of decimating enemies swiftly. However, its potency comes with a drawback. A significant cooldown period follows each assault, during which the tower overheats and remains inactive. Strategic placement and careful management are crucial to leveraging its full potential, ensuring it remains a pivotal asset in fending off waves of adversaries effectively. In Doomspire Defense, understanding the strategic placement and synergies of towers is crucial for effective gameplay. One standout tower is the Boombox, which significantly boosts the action speed of nearby friendly units. This enhancement proves invaluable across various tower types particularly amplifying the efficiency of slower units like the Rocketeer and complementing units that benefit from increased speed, such as the Rockstar. The Boombox emerges as a cornerstone in any defense strategy, maximizing the effectiveness of allied towers and reinforcing its status as an essential asset alongside other pivotal units in the game. Survivalist Tower reigns supreme as an indispensable asset on the battlefield. Serving as the sole healing tower within the game, 
Its role is pivotal despite its hefty cost and negligible offensive capabilities. While lacking in damage output, its ability to sustain other towers makes it a strategic necessity for any player aiming to fortify their defenses effectively. For those struggling to maintain the longevity of their towers amidst relentless onslaughts, the inclusion of a survivor alongside this tower becomes not just beneficial but essential for surviving the ever-intensifying waves of enemies. Rockstar Tower stands tall in the S-tier category, known for its formidable damage buffering capabilities. Positioned strategically, it enhances the offensive prowess of neighboring towers, including summoned entities like Cloner Clones, significantly boosting their damage output. Beyond its support role, the Rockstar itself wields area-of-effect damage, making it a versatile choice on the battlefield. Its ability to empower nearby defenses while actively engaging enemies underscores its pivotal role in shaping successful defense strategies in Doomspire defense. The video ends here. See you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe.